this 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 brings me back to a a bit of an argument I had with a hater uh, a, a, a recent week ago. Before we start, you may notice in this video, Beagle for Stiff is not here. Yes, he's been locked up on first degree murder charges. We hope to have him back next week. But here's footage of him from jail. <laughs> It's good to see him spreading the D-Train podcast anthem throughout prison. Boy, do we love to see that. Now shut the fuck up and get into the video. Okay, hell, mate. Hello. Yeah. I'm just here with um, D-Train podcast. Yeah, we're doing a podcast right now on Discord. Yeah, no, I'll call you back later, eh? Hey. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll call you back later. Bloody bitch. Oh, hey guys. guys. Welcome to the Deep Train Podcast. Before we start, here we go. SJ, you fucking dog. SJ, bro. A lot has happened in the past, you know, however however many days I haven't uploaded. Uh, yeah. I went to the footy last night. I met Jack Bird. If you don't know who he is, famous player. So. Bird, mate. Jack like, Bird, what, what, he's a famous Dragons player. He also plays golf and tennis. So I've seen him. Really? Yeah, so I go over the yeah. stand and like, here's Shays, Birdie, here's Shays. Birdie, mate. Here's Shays. Come on, mate. And you know what he does to me? So he's clapping all the fans and he looks over at me. He's like, oh, I've seen your podcast, mate. So he comes up, he shakes my hand. But he thought I was being disrespectful because yeah. I didn't shake his hand back. Because I'm, I'm, I'm a Eels fan. If you can't, if you can't tell, I got dressed up for the Eels game last night. So, anyways, he right hooks me in the head. I get sent to the back of the stands. Right? You wouldn't believe it. And Jack Bird, uh, he walks away. Uh, <laughs> he, he just, he just doesn't even say anything. No one, no one even knew what happened. Uh, so yeah, uh, uh, yeah, a hundred percent. Now, we don't know why, but what we do know is, you're here on the podcast, you're here to talk to us today. I know what you do a lot of things with yeah. trees and about saving the poor people and all that sort of stuff. So, would you like to just talk to us about a bit about yourself, mate? Uh, so, basically, I'm Clems. I'm from Blacktown, New South Wales. And to start on for today, you know, I just want to pray for you guys. So, let's gather together and pray. Right. Yeah. Father who art in heaven, hello be thy name. Crossing the shots. Across in the evening, Holy Spirit. Hey, man. All right. Amen. Yeah, anyways, yeah. I was, um, yeah, so back in like four months ago, last year, um, I started up a GoFundMe page for the trees because, like, listen here, like, hear me out. A lot of trees right now are dying. For what? You answer that. From what? Why, why are the trees dying? Well, think, because, you know, there's, there's a lot of trees in the world and there's also a lot of people in the world. So when people want to live in a tree, you build tree houses and sort of stuff like that, and you sort of throw them out in the bin for like the McDonald's meals and all that sort of stuff. So you know they go they go pretty quick. Like think of this piece of bread. You know this could come off a tree. I need to eat this stuff, yeah. so I'm going to eat it. And there's a lot of use for trees in our everyday life. So I have a tree actually in my room, but you can't see it because the camera's not on it. But it's right yeah. down there, just growing down there. So it comes for good use. So I mean I don't know, but I'd like to hear your side, mate. What what, what do you think? Yeah, no, a lot of people just cut trees down. Like, think about it. We have a large population in Australia. I'm not too sure how uh, how many people we have on this earth. But a lot of houses are being built, and we don't really need those houses. Think about the habitats for the people, like, you know, for... Oh, fuck. Mm, that chicken. Mm. Yeah, the animals, the chicken. Like, the chicken needs to live in a tree, mate. Mm, cocoa butter. Mm. Look about needs to live in a tree. What else needs to live in a tree? The fucking rabbits as well. Like every, mm. Everything around us. Mm, um, all, mm. yeah. all the trees are getting cut down for what? Mm. Paper. Like, this, listen, I've got this. Paper mache origami. Mm. Yeah. I've got this in kindergarten, yeah? Oh, yep. Yeah. It's fucking. It's a tree, like. It's paper. We don't really need it. Like, why do we need Clams. Cut, cut. Clams, brother. Let me stop cut. you there. Oh. Let me stop you there. Yeah. So you're going on about trees. You, no, no, don't get emotional, mate. You're going on about trees and all this. Look what's behind you, mate. Why is there cardboard there? 
You say you're freezing the wrong things, mate. You see? Ah, uh, listen, listen. We moved out on like a couple of weeks, you know. We moved to fucking Toronto Zoo, mate. We going to fucking pack our shit, mate. What else could we pack our stuff with, mate? Well, listen here, that's why you freaking talk about trees in a good manner. They you have good use in the households. Yeah, but if you fucking think about it, that plastic bottle here, we don't need that shit. We need trees. We need trees to be alive for oxygen. Think about it, if we have no trees over here, how else are we going to breathe? The ocean? Think about it, the ocean's getting polluted right now from what? From what? Cars, technology, a lot of things. How else are we meant to live on this earth without trees? That's why I started up a GoFundMe page, and I've raised around 20 grand on that page. And with that 20 grand, you know what I bought? What? You know what I bought? What'd you buy? I bought myself a car. Yeah, you know, I'm sorry for snapping at you, but I just, I feel like trees have good use. But the thing is... <clears throat> Oh, yeah, they do that. Yeah, Australians took around the Aboriginals' land, you know? <laughs> think about the Aboriginals, how they're being treated. They are getting shown disrespect for who they are. Think about it. The trees over here, they've been grown longer than us. If you think about I, I don't know why you're laughing, but... <laughs> oh! Yeah! 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 Well... <laughs> All right, um, <laughs> I'm getting a call from my attorney. It says to change the subject. It's a bit controversial, this trees topic. So I want to talk to you about, you know... Uh, not only talk, I've got to open up. I've got to open up again. It's the second podcast in. I've got something else to open up about. And it's not about Jack Bird at the footy. It's about a personal experience I had. So, you know... You, you, you meet a girl. Right? You meet a girl. And you start, you start talking to them. You look them in the eyes and you go, "Damn, you are beautiful. I want, I want your eyes on me at all times." And what do they do? They pretend to die. They fake their death, and yeah. to just get away from you. And you go to the funeral. You're the only one there, and no one else is there. And you're like, "What's this?" What? And they do a fake funeral service just for you, just for you. Hmm? But listen, listen. What just happened to me? It's not a fake story. It's not some sort of fucking. Oh, would you do this? No, it's for real. It fucking happened to me. So, uh, oh, fuck it. Hey, listen, listen. This is a true story what happened the other day. Like, I don't know if I should say it or, like... Yeah, no. We, we, look, on the Deep Train podcast, we're happy to have guests open up. We don't discriminate or be the racism. We open up here. All right, so... so sorry for the difficulties. Uh, my dog just came and attacked me. It's got a horrid grass up or a tie. So, you were talking about the girl at the Easter show. Continue and shut up. Yeah. So, uh, so basically, like, I was walking alone, you know. I was, like, I was trying to find the boys, you know, like, because I lost them. Like, I tried calling them and my phone died. And I was like, yeah, yeah. what do I do? What do I do? Mm-hmm. Fucking off, yeah. Around, looking around trying to find, you know, fucking boys and that shit, bro. Like, yeah, who does? They dogged me, bro. Full dog me. Yeah, they dogged me, yeah. I was walking alone. I was like, "Fuck, bro! Like, I can't find them." Died, like I said, my phone died. I was walking alone, and it was like eight o'clock, eight thirty. Then this girl came up to me. She goes, "Hey, hey, I'll suck your dick for a dollar." I was like, "Bro, <laughs> I was like, fuck." Yeah, really? you, you might as well fuck yourself at that point. You know what I mean? Yeah, I was like, I was like fuck. Like, I was like, "Oh, I'm, I'm just lost right now." I found my mates. You know, like. Use your phone for a second. She goes, Ah, you can't use my phone. Like, I'm like, fuck, like, what do I do? Like, I said, Oh, yeah, yeah. let me use my phone. I'll do anything for it. She goes, yeah, let me give you a blowjob. I was like, Fuck, this girl's really desperate for me. You know, like, who wouldn't be desperate for me? Come on now. Yeah, that fucking shit. Anyways. Yeah, that shits me, eh? Because, you know, you do all these things for people, you fucking buy them this, buy them that, and they tre- fucking treat you with respect like that, mate. It's fucked, eh? Yeah. Oh, yeah, from there, we went to the toilet, the, the same toilet down the road. And she was giving it, and like, I was like, wow. I was like, shit, like, really? Like, did I really have to do this just for a phone call? Yeah, yeah. From there, my mate told me they caught the train back home, and yeah, I was like, fuck, fuck I was thinking no, of it. No, what do I yeah, do? Yeah, yeah, bro. This is the thing. So, you know what I mean? I've got a couple mates who are coming on the podcast next episode, hopefully, or after. 
they've actually experienced something similar themselves. I, I want, um, I'm not going to go into detail. I'll let them do it. But, you know, it does pain me to see because look look at the animals. They're lovely. They, they hold each other's hands. They breed with each other. And they kiss and lovely. But the humans, there's some sort of issue with us, with us humans. We can't, we don't function properly anymore. So we just got to think about moving forward and shutting up. When you see a fucking dog kill another species, they don't, they don't get fucking charged, do they? Maybe they go to a fucking vet, but that's it. But if I were to kill someone, oh, hell, hell breaks loose. Like, fuck, come on, what's the, what's the difference? Well, fuck me. Mate, it's all about opportunities. It's all about fucking respecting other people. Who we are for what we do. Yeah. If we don't do it right, we get accused of fucking doing it wrong. Yeah. If we do it all right together, we're gonna go up to the charm. Yeah, and you know what I'm saying, mate? I like to appreciate what you're saying to me because I love the way you're doing it. Because this is touching my heart, and this is the most heartwelt fucking podcast I've ever, I've ever filmed in my life. And I'm loving it. And I'm loving your company. I'm loving it. I don't get this sort of love. You know? It's, it's just good yeah. to me. But, uh, anyways, um, what else is there to talk about here? Well, basically, I got featured on the NRL Roast. It's a famous Instagram page about the NRL. I'll post it here. Wait, well played, mate. Congrats. Right. Congrats, you like, congrats you like mate. Fantasy team? You like my fantasy uh, team? Uh, <laughs> now, you may see me shaking hands with this guy. False. He shook hands with me. Oh, he said, hey. I know your podcast, D Train. Same as Jack Bird. He's like, I know your podcast. You're the D Train guy. I'm like, yeah. Can we get a quick video? I'll put it on the NRL roast. I know the guy's there. You know? So I shook his hand. He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll do this part for the video. Yeah, yeah, And then some geezer next to me shows him his fantasy team. And he looks at him and he's like, mate, that's fucking awesome. So he stole the spotlight from me. So what I do to the kid, I pick him up, grab him, fucking half, half quarterback him all the way across the field. Head first into fucking dirt, mate. Because I was pissed off. That's how that's how much pride I have about my podcast. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, I'll get it. Yeah, yeah. Because you know, it's, it's it's a place for people to open up. People need to understand. And this 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 brings me back to a a bit of an argument I had with a hater uh, a, a, a recent week ago. So they're saying you know my podcast is a bit cringe, and I'm like, yeah, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because I I know my podcast is for people to open up. <coughs> and they're going on about all this other stuff. All this other like, bullshit that I'm not, yeah, in, that, I'm not that I don't care about. I just care about getting my podcast out. It's fucked. You communicate, you communicate what you want to say. That's all in your head. You can try to dig trade podcast. And from there, everything you want to get, like you know what you want, you want to say. It's all between us, not to anyone else. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Free to try the podcast, whatever the schedules. You know, like Jewish people. Oh, welcome to come as uh, the Holocaust. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, well, that's right. That's why we are respected by the YouTube community because we have a lot of people coming from different parts of the world to talk about different parts of the inspirational lives about these things, what they're talking about. So when people come, yeah. when people come, come at me saying it's cringe and they're, ha and they're hating on me, it, it gets me a bit upset. But I don't care because, you know, I know that I'm giving people a platform to speak about their problems. So, you know, anyways, moving on because I'm fucking fat. Um, what's the podcast had to be cut short due to a missile sent by the BDS and babies? Oh, oh, shit, no. But stay tuned for next episode's stand up comedy oh, show. If you want to pop in and tell us a joke, join the Discord link in the description below.